Hello guys and welcome to Laravel 7 tutorials. So guys in this video we are going to discuss about what's new in Laravel feature number 3 and that is fluent string. In this video we are going to discuss about how to define a fluent string and how to use a fluent string. To understand fluent string better what we are going to do is basically we are going to manipulate a string with the help of old fashioned first and then we are going to manipulate a string with the help of fluent string so that we can understand the fluent string better and see the difference okay so what i'm going to do basically i'm going to move to git bash and i have already accessed my project directory and folder so what i'm going to do is php artisan sir okay let's see your project is up and running or not okay it is up and running let's move to sublime and i will move to web.php okay right here uh, to basically to implement the fluent string but you can do is if you want to you can create a new project or you can implement the fluent string in your existing project as well so i'm going to make a route right here and let's say the name of the round route is fluent and let's say we have a closure function that's it now let's define a string dollar text is equals to let's take a very common string and that is quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog that's it okay now you can see i have defined some extra spaces right at the beginning and at the end why so that we can basically manipulate a string so first thing first what i want right here is i uh, let's say i want to remove this extra spaces let's say this is yeah, basically coming from a user input and user have some extra spaces right here at the beginning so what we can do is let's say let's manipulate our string and let's say the string in new variable new text is equals to and i want to trim this dollar text right here okay now let's dd this new text okay now let's move to a route and you can see we have successfully removed the extra spacing from right at the beginning and at the end. If there is a confusion that what is happening right here, what we can do is we can simply DT the text. And you can see we have some extra spacing right here. Okay. So to remove some extra spacing from the beginning and at the end, what we can do is we can simply use trim function. Okay. That's it. Refresh. Okay. Now let's say I want this first character to be in the uppercase. So what we can do is let's say new text is equals to uc first uppercase basically. And here I want the new text. Basically this new text belongs to this new text right here. Okay. Let's refresh. And you can see we have Q in uppercase right here. Okay. Now let's say I don't want these spaces right here between the words. What I want is basically a hyphen. Basically, we want to put the hyphen right here. So what we can do is let's say dollar new text is equals to and str underscore replace. Search for some space and replace it with hyphen. Okay. In the new text variable right let's refresh and see and you can see we have hyphen uh, in the places of spaces right here so this is how we can manipulate a string in the old fashion and now let's see how can we do that with the help of fluent string so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just comment it out right here and let's define the class let's import it use illuminate and support right here and string basically string is the class okay now i'm just going to copy this text right here and let's just remove the comment from right here now i'm going to use the string class what i can do is new text okay and let's say i want to use string class function of and i want to implement this function on this text variable simple okay now let's see the dollar new text okay so now let's see if it is working or not let's refresh okay so now you can see we are using uh, our stringable class right here we have some extra spacing right at the beginning and at the end now with the help of fluent string uh, basically we are going to remove the extra spacing right here let's see how can we do this it is really simple what we can do 
is simply implement our function right here we don't even need to pass the variable right here okay let's just refresh and you can see we have successfully removed the string now in the old fashion what we can do is we are going to assign uh, if basically if you want to implement a new function new method what we have to do is basically pass it in pass it after the specific function right here like let's say you can see right here is we are implementing the trim function first then we are applying uc first and then string replace etc etc what fluent string does for us is basically uh, fluent string uh, allow us to chain our method in a single line let me just show you let's say now i want to make this uh, string first word first letter basically uppercase so what we can do is uc first right here simple we don't need to uh, even need to pass the string right here because we are already passing the string right here okay let's just refresh and you can see q is in the uppercase now let's say i want my string to be in the camel case what we can do it is really simple camel that's it that's it right here you can see Whenever new word start, it is going to be in the uppercase right here. Okay. Now uh, I want to show you some extra method, basically some more method. So what I'm going to do, basically remove this camel, and let's say I want my string to be in the uppercase, all all the string in the uppercase. Let's say, and you can see right here, quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Okay. Now let's say I want to replace the string. Basically, the space is right here in the string as well. So what we can do is we can basically use a replace function. Replace spaces with hyphen. That's it. Okay. And you can see we don't even need to pass the variable right here like this. Okay. We don't even need that. Let's refresh. And you can see we have successfully manipulated our string. Okay. So now if you want to see some extra functions you can visit the laravel docs after after last we uh, basically we have huge amount of functions that we can implement on a string uh, so i hope it was basically simple to understand and i hope you got the point basically what fluent string does for us is basically it allow us to chain our methods in really simple manner what we have to do we have to simply use string basically method and the method name is basically it is a static method right here you can see the columns and the method name is off and we have to pass the variable basically uh, this variable string uh, contains our string right here and we can directly chain our methods that we need okay now you can see the difference between where the two basically it is more readable and if you have any sort of confusion that like uh, let's say it is confusing you what you can do is basically you can just pass it in the next line as well to make it simple and to understand it better okay right here you can see it looks more fresh and it basically it is more perfect than this one okay so this is what we have new in laravel 7 basically the uh, fluent string okay so i hope you got the point and i hope you like the video if you liked it please like subscribe and share thank you take care and i will provide the uh, basically the links of this fluent string function in the description thank you take care